Nathan Cox here. I just got done installing this storm door here. This one actually happens to be from a company called Larson, a uh, pretty popular door company for the storm doors, uh, whether you're buying it at Home Depot or Lowe's or, or just about anywhere else. Very easy to find. Uh, I've generally always been happy with their products, but they recently, I'm not sure how many months back, have made some huge changes to the way you install the doors. Beautiful. Okay. They really thought this through and thought of it as not just what's the simplest way can we package this door and throw it out the, you know, to the store. They actually thought about it step by step to try to make it easy for not only someone who has no idea what they're doing, but even for someone who is experienced but doesn't like messing with just a, you know, instructions that are written in Chinese and one giant bag of parts that are all mixed up. Okay? So if you guys are looking to get one, I suggest taking a look at these ones here. What we're talking about is adjusting the door once it's in. Uh, because many of you guys out there uh, maybe already have a storm door that doesn't close right, one, or two, just got one installed and maybe want to adjust it yourself. You're, you know, most of you guys aren't actually installing the door yourself. So we're going to talk about the adjustment. You want the door when you open it, you know, like so. First of all, you want it to be able to open almost all the way. They're not going to open a full 90 degrees because the closers are going to kind of stop that. Uh, but if, if they stop short, like around here, then there's something wrong with the adjustment of the closer. Uh, the bracket that was installed was installed too far out or something like that, which is hindering the opener from going all the way. So it should open, you know, uh, I don't know, what is that, 85 degrees or something like that. That's almost all the way open. Now, once it's, you know, you got the door open, let go. Okay, it's not a bad closing speed, and it latches. Okay, latching is important because you don't want the wind to catch it and yanking this puppy open and tearing up things. Okay, we want to adjust the closing speed so it can close probably, you know, pretty smooth. Not too slow, but not too fast because you don't want it slamming behind you and catching your heels coming in. But you also want it going so slow that it just kind of creeps, creeps, creeps. And most of the time when it goes real slow like that, it's not going to latch. So what do you do? First of all, let me tell you what you don't do real quick. If you go to test this out, don't open the door like this and then let go. Even though it may latch right, these are what they call pneumatic closers. It means they're, they're under a vacuum air pressure. It takes just a second for when, when you open it up all the way for the air pressure to actually equalize inside the, uh, inside the tube. So open it up and just hold it there for a second before you let go to give it a good test. So if you want to, like this one here, it might be a tad fast, so if you want to slow it down, you look up here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Actually, let me adjust the camera a little bit because I don't know that you can see it all the way. You can see the closer here, there's a screw at the end, and it's real simple. You screw the screw in to slow the, the, uh, the closer down. So righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? So we're going to slow it down a little bit and just do it small amounts at a time, the quarter turn. Now this door here, like many of your nicer doors, let me adjust the camera again. They've got two closers, so there's another one down here. So you want to work both of them. So we're going to turn that one in a quarter turn also. Holding the door open and letting go. I think that's a little bit better. So guys, I think that that's a little bit better. But do know, if you have a brand new door or you just put brand new closers in, they do kind of have a little bit of a break-in period. So over the first couple weeks, don't fret if you can't get it perfect. Just try to get it close. And then know that after the first couple of weeks or a month or so of using the door, assuming it gets used a little bit, then kind of just fine tune it a little bit after that. Guys, I hope this helps you out with your door. Please, uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying your new storm door. They're great for adding a little bit more, uh, you know, weather resistance, you know, for the heat and the cold. They keep the rain off the door, help keep it from rotting in the jam. So that's one of the things I like them for the most. But do make sure that they are adjusted right so they stay latched and don't get ripped open by the wind. If you like this video, please share it. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other playlists. Have a great one.